Hey guys, it's Bano. Welcome back to Pokemon Blue. In the last part, we progressed through Route 3, all the way up to this Pokemon Center. We also caught ourselves a Sparrow, and we also bought a Magikarp, because buying it is just as good. Um, I, off screen, uh, kind of off screen, I leveled up uh, Bubba all the way to, no, I leveled up Birdo all the way to level 10. Level 10 is pretty fine for right now. Uh, like, I'm gonna keep him up front because I want him to level up a little bit more, but trust me, it's okay. Anyway, welcome to Mount Moon. Everyone's pain, in a nutshell. Um, so yeah, uh, let's see if we can find things. I believe there's only two hidden items in this area, however the problem is the area is so big and it also is home to Zubat. My goodness it's Zubat. Trust me, you'll get tired of Zubat really quickly, so I'm just going to run away from all of them. Zubat has some decent stats, but his moveset is really... Eh. He's extremely common. By the way, here's TM12, which is Water Gun. You got water type Pokemon like, uh. Like, um. You know, Magikarp. And it's a good. It's, a, it's an okay move. And because Magikarp doesn't really learn Water Gun, it's great to get. to get Magikarp a move. Actually, I don't know if you can teach it to Magikarp. And you can also get a potion over here. Hold on, I'm actually gonna. Hold on. I'm gonna see. I don't have that many items. I'm gonna see if you can actually teach this to, uh... No, you can't teach it to Dragon Man. Okay. Uh, here's a trainer, by the way. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, on this first floor, at least, there's a 79% chance of finding Zubat, a 15% chance of finding Geodude, a 5% chance of finding Paris, and a 1% chance of finding Clefairy. Paris has a pretty good attack stat, but the problem is his type combination is so bad. It's Grass Bug. Which basically makes him weak to everything. Uh, here's a bug catcher, by the way. Uh, Clefairy, Clefairy's really good. It, HP is really good. You can teach a lot of good TMs. Uh, also, by the way, Pekka's flying type move, which means bug type. Very weak. And strength shot, of course. Uh, and Clefairy's got some really good stats as well, generally. Uh, the problem is, he doesn't really learn that many good moves through levels, but his TM list is really good. If you want a good normal type early in the game, it's a good choice, but it's extremely rare. 1% chance of finding it on this floor. You, there's a better chance of finding it on lower floors. There's a 4% chance of finding it on the lower floor, which is the tunnel floor as I like to refer to it. And a 6% chance of finding it on the bottom floor, which is what goes on. Uh, you can also find Geodude here, so if you want to get a Geodude, uh, good on you then. Um, there's a much higher chance of finding Zubats, of course. And Zubat is poison flying, so it's, yeah. Uh, so, you know, grass type. Bulbasaur's safe, kind of. He doesn't really know any... Oh, he does know Leech Seed, and Leech Seed is a bug type move, which is kind of gets annoying. Good old Birdo. Uh, but, other than that, it's okay. Uh, I'm gonna try and find all the items. There's actually quite a lot of items in this area. Also, by the way, one annoying fact is that there is an item called a Repel that basically says, okay, for your next 200 steps, you will encounter no wild Pokemon. You can't get it before this, this area, so... Beware, Zubat is a blood sucker. Anyway, we got another trainer here. I'm waiting for my friends to find me. I've, I'll wait for my friends. This last is pretty easy, he's just got Clefairy. Uh, I'm actually going to switch out to Bubba. As much as I like Bugaboom, I'm going to try and focus on Bubba, because unfortunately, Bubba is the only one in my party who I'm actually intending to use until the end of the game. Vine Whip actually has a very low PP count, which is kind of odd. 10. Oh, gosh. How many trainers are in this area, by the way? I just want to... I'm going to look this up right now. Um, 
believe there's six on this floor, which is pretty ridiculous. And then there's five. There's five on the bottom. So it makes this kind of a, length, a lengthy area. I mean, granted, it's not a long area. But you just gotta go through a lot of wild Pokemon, and that's kind of why a lot of people don't like this area as much as you would think. Uh, so we defeated the last. Yeah, you lost. Suck it. Um, now we're gonna proceed right. Hopefully we can grab all the items. This heads downward. So, yeah. Oh gosh, the Zubats will never stop. By the way, if you're playing yellow, there's actually an additional boss battle at the end of this uh, area, which is kind of interesting. Uh, but yeah. Uh, that's, that ladder actually doesn't lead to anywhere helpful. But it will give you items. This guy, unfortunately, is not a friendly guy. <laughs> he is a super nerd. Super nerds give you a lot of money when you beat them. Problem is, they have Magmite. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna switch out to, uh... <laughs> Bubba, because Bubba's the only one who can actually withstand this. Um, Magmite is an electric-type Pokemon. Uh, I don't know whether he does have an electric-type move, but the problem with electric-type is that he... Is strong against flying and water type. Uh, so yeah. However, electric is not strong against grass. So you're safe there. I actually don't think he does have an attack. Magnemite is a lot stronger in later games because he is electric steel type. Steel is a very strong type. Uh, Voltorb is just electric type as well. Um, I think Magnemite's pretty good actually. His HP is a little bit low, but He's got some pretty good moves, and same with Voltorb. Um, Voltorb actually has weaker moves, but his speed is really good. And when you teach him Explosion, he's a very powerful Pokemon. Uh, but other than that, yeah, critical hit. So Bubba's level 17. Hooray for Bubba. My Pokemon won't do. Uh, I'm gonna head over this way because there is an item right here. Uh. I know there's an item around here somewhere, hold on. I actually don't think it's on this floor. Uh. Yeah, that's, that's professional of me. Hey, it's a Geodude. There we go. That's a Geodude. Geodude has like a weird hair thing going on. I actually feel like switching out to Bubba, because I... As, mu as much as Birdo is kind of cool, I I'm going to want Bubba. Except he's out of grass type. Uh, Bubba, switch my front. Uh, okay, so here's another Pokeball. This one has a rare candy. A rare candy is actually a very nice item. It, you use it and it gives you a level up. I think I picked up items and I haven't. No, no it's all good. Yeah, it gives you a free level up, which is nice. Uh, there's another trainer. Yeah, I know. Oh, there's an item over there. Caterpie! Oh, really? He evaded it. Wow. Fortunately, we are extremely high level for this. Trust me, you don't need that that high of a level right now. You 
need it for the gym, but you didn't. You don't need it until the next gym, really. Actually, there's a fair bit of stuff you do before the next gym. Uh, Metapod, um... Birdo. Seriously, you can... You, that should be a Butterfree by now. And that's a super effective hit, and it still didn't... Even. It's gonna take three hits, isn't it? Oh no, that's good. Yeah. So, uh, Sparrow evolves at level 20, I believe. Uh, that's, that's okay. That's decent. And that, that can be a Butterfree as well, jeez. Why do you keep us so weak? He lost. Um... So yeah, uh, we're gonna grab this item. Or we can enter a battle. With a Zubat. Oh gosh. Those Zubats, man. Those Zubats. Aha, an escape rope. Is this a dead end? I have the odd feeling that this is a dead end. Okay, nope, it's not. It's great. Uh, we're gonna head downstairs, because I believe this takes you to... a place down the bottom. We can get some cool stuff. So we're gonna go downstairs, and then I'm gonna head outside. So anyway, this is the middle floor, by the way, as I like to call it, the tunnel floor, because it consists of a lot of tunnels. But if you're wondering how big this area is, it's not that big. It's just that there's a lot of wild Pokemon. It takes forever to get anywhere. Oh snap, is this... No, this is... No. No, this isn't it. No. Nah. However, there is a trainer. Are you ready for it? Do, 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 do. We are Pokemon Gangsters! Word up! Much like a gangster. Sandro. Anyway, you're gonna see Team Rocket guys on this bottom floor. I missed. He missed. We both missed. Oh my gosh! I he hasn't even done any like. Like, uh, sand attacks. It's ridiculous. Oh my goodness, Bubba, what is going on with you? Yeah, I think I'm gonna switch away. Okay, that's four times. Ground type is not the best. Uh, sorry, flying is not the best against ground type. Actually, actually, ground type is extremely weak against flying. I'll tell you that. Doesn't even hit it. Yeah. Nope. I'm gonna stick with Bugaboo. Oh, the tail whip. Goodness. There we go. Fifteen! Yeah! <laughs> Poison powder! Poison powder! Yeah! I'm actually surprised, um... Poison powder. He's poison type. Why did I do that? Hey, uh, leech life is bug type. Which means it's gonna hurt... <laughs> it's going to hurt Bubba, but not Bugaboo. Oh, really? Really? Wow, I'm I'm missing way too much for my own good. So anyway, there you go. I'm surprised that yeah, Bubba hasn't gone poison powder yet. He blew it. 
Uh, let's see. So I'm gonna switch out to Bugaboom, because he's, he's fast enough to dodge the wild Pokemon. Anyway. Ah, oh, gosh. This is why repels exist. But they don't exist yet. That's the most annoying part. You know what? This is probably the worst cave as well. I guess Seafoam Islands. Anyway, you'll find a HP up over here. Um, yeah. That's about it. <laughs> you know what, actually? You know what I'm going to do? Because we got to go through that tunnel, we got to go all the way up. And because I need to heal as well. We'll just use the escape rope. And here we go, outside the Pokemon Center. How convenient. Welcome to our Pokemon Center. Our wee Pokey the Mon. Do, 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 do. Uh, so anyway, yeah. So, okay, now there's quite a few items. I'm trying to get to them all. I believe that there are two hidden items inside this place. Um. But we've basically explored most of this first floor. The second floor you just kind of access intermittently, and the middle floor... Sorry, the second floor, the, the bottom floor, you just kind of access intermittently. And the middle floor, you just kind of pass by it. So Geodude! Ah! Dude, is that a thumbs up or a thumbs down? I can't tell. Uh, oh, goodness. <laughs> I was not expecting that. Well, you know what they say about old RPGs. Buildings are inside, uh, bigger on the inside. Oh yeah, this snap. This is the one with, this is the trainer with the new Pokemon. Uh, so you got Oddish. Uh, Oddish is actually pretty good. Too bad he's a red exclusive. He's Grass Poison, he's got some good moves. He's basically, uh, Bulbasaur, but not. He's not as good. Um, in Gold and Silver, he gets another evolution uh, called Blossom, which is nice. Uh, you know, more choice. Bellsprout is the blue exclusive, he's not as good. His attack and special set, I'm switching out apparently. His attack and special sets are really good, Bellsprouts. Um, and, you know, he's it's got some good grass-type moves. Only problem is, is, you know, really weak. Uh, there should be... Something around here. So we've got a staircase here, I believe this is also... <laughs> this is an optional area as well. There you go. Do, 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 do. We're pulling a big job here. Anyway, so yeah. All the all the Team Rocket guys are at the bottom, by the way. So apparently no one notices. Okay. Uh, let's see. So we can use Confusion against this guy. Oh, I should try and get a... Uh, Birdo out there. Because, yeah, Bugaboom's level 16 now. Oh, he's trying to learn Stun Spore. Oh, yeah, here's something. Uh, yeah, so we're going to delete a move. Uh, we're going to delete String Shot, because no one likes String Shot. Trust me, lowering your opponent's speed isn't the most desirable thing. It's not really that great. And he's also got an Ekans. Uh, I'll try sending out Birdo. We'll, we'll see how Birdo handles. Uh, Stun Spore does Paralyze. Paralyze basically stops you from attacking half the time. Uh, sleep stops you from attacking all the time. However, Paralyze does not wear off. You need to heal it somehow. Um, whereas Sleep wears off. Also, Freeze is like that as well. Freeze freeze is like, yeah, it stops you from attacking completely, but it wears off. And there you go. That's how you do it. So, you are good. Yes, I am. Uh, talk to this rock. It will give you an ether. I believe the ether is the one that recovers all your PP of all your moves, which is nice. And this is TM01, which is Mega Punch. Mega Punch is actually a really nice move. I like it. 
So anyway, yeah, uh, now, let's see. There's not a trainer there. Ah, it's a Zubat. Zubat. Run away from the Zubat and talk to this guy. I did come here to explore. I didn't come here to fight you, though. Rat ta ta ta! <laughs> oh, goodness. Um, does this guy only have a Rattata? I think that's a yes. No, he's got th two Rattatas and a Zubat. That's great. Also, is that a Hyper Fang? Oh yeah, I gotta, I gotta get, um, Birdo to kill some people. And by kill, I mean faint them. You must faint them, for they faint. They are overwhelmed with pain and faint. Oh no, that's just quick attack. I thought it was hyper fan. Oh, goodness. I switch out and this is what I get. Thankfully, Spiro's really good. Spiro's good as heck. Uh, and Zubat. I think I'll be okay for Zubat. Flying is actually okay, okay against flying. It doesn't reduce damage, which is great. Leech life, uh, I'm okay with that. Actually, it's gonna take me another turn to recover. Leech life is really weak. It's the bug type version of Absorb, which we haven't actually gotten. Uh, is Absorb in this game or is it in newer games? Whatever, there's a Mega Drain, which is basically this move, but it's grass type, and all the grass type Pokemon learn it. Yeah, 13! I feel like we can take this on, we don't need an exit here. Losing stinks, it smells like poop. Or does it? Uh, oh gosh! So many Geodudes! Oh my goodness. Yeah. Mount Moon, no one likes it. Okay, thankfully I can see the whole screen in here. Which is good, because now I can see that item up there. It's a Zobbit! Uh, I'm not going to bother, because he's level 6. Um... But yeah, I honestly do feel like one of the items is hidden. Also, what was what did I just pick up? Oh, a moonstone! Great! Uh, you know, Clefairy, and I think Jigglypuff does it as well, I think, maybe. They evolve with a moonstone, so all you do is that you just use the moonstone on them and they evolve, which is great. They're... However, those are in limited supply. I am just a kid. What? What? What of it? What? Um, let's see. Confusion? Works kinda well. Ah, oh, crit. Tackle, because this is what tackle does. Don't use Tackle. I'm gonna use it again. <laughs> Cause he, he's about dead. Um, so yeah. Uh, no, I guess not. Oh, I guess so, yeah. Uh, Bubba! Okay, gosh, I, I'm a little bit like, I would like to get, I use Leech Seed, dang it. I'm a bit like, I really want to get the, uh... Uh, the other Moonstone, because it's right there. It'd be nice to get another Moonstone. Oh, snap, he's got another Onyx. He's got an Onyx. It's only level 10. By the way, these guys are still weaker than... Uh, Brock. They they will still be weaker than Brock for a while now. <laughs> well, I guess it's 
down here. This is how you find items. Okay, well... Okay, so... Oh, sweet, a Paris! Because we haven't seen one yet. They're a little bit rare. That's a Paris. You're going to see me doing this for a while now. Uh, also, we have to go down here. Anyway, uh, thankfully we don't need to go up to the top floor. We've basically explored the top floor. The middle floor is just like, you know, join it. Join the dots. And this area is a little bit longish, but thankfully not. Raticate is the evolution of Radita. That's about it. I mean, it's, it's a bit stronger, but... I wouldn't say it's that strong, you know? Uh, Radatar evolves at level 20, by the way. Oh, snap. I, I knew that was gonna happen. Hyper Fang's really strong, by the way. Leech Seed! Will Leech Seed be worth it? I don't think it ever is. Everyone deals so much damage anyway. Fine whip. Do it again. Thankfully this is his only Pokemon and oddly this is the strongest Pokemon you'll ever fight for a while. And also this is an underleveled evolution because Rattata normally evolve that evolves at level 20. So that's kind of interesting. Also, you'll notice that everyone else and lots of other Rocket members... So one of these. One of them. <laughs> oh snap, is this gonna send out Dragon Man? Oh thank goodness it's sending out Birdo. I'm actually gonna switch out switch it out to Bubba. I know he's a bit weak, but like like he's a bit weakened. That should be okay. Is it on this one? Nope. This one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. Bat. Ah, uh, I'm not even gonna follow. Ah, oh, of course. Okay, so we still got. Still got more people. Goodness, this is a longish place. I'll tell you that. Uh, Vine Whip, I guess. Uh, Vine Whip? Oh, I should have tackled actually then. Um, yeah. Okay, come on, Bubba. We got this. Zubat. Uh, uh, dang it. Dang, because Vine Whip's going to do nothing, really. So I guess we'll just tackle him. He can't deal a lot of damage. This is a Zubat, man. Yeah. Because it's bug type, of course. Uh, oh, gosh. Ocean. A HP up, by the way, increases your maximum HP. I thought I'd like to tell you that. Please, potion, please work. This is not going to work out at all. Uh, potion on Birdo. I'll survive, but... 
Oh, thank goodness he used Super Supersonic. Supersonic makes you confused. Confusion is like a status element, but it's not. It wears off after a battle. Uh, it basically makes you either hit yourself, a half chance of hitting yourself, or actually attacking, and it gets really annoying. But thankfully, it also wears off. Uh, but there's not really an item that solves it. Uh, so we're gonna peck him. Oh, that was close. Because if your Pokemon faints, uh, you can't do anything about it unless you have a revive, but you can't get revives out here. There you go. Good on you, Birdo. I'm actually going to put Birdo out front, because I don't trust myself. Alright, uh, item. No, uh, Pokemon. And now I'm going to use another potion on... Bubba. Well, now, now you guys can yell at me for making a dumb move. Okay, come on, come on. There's a Moonstone in one of these. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm looking this up. Uh, so apparently I looked it up. Apparently the item is... <sighs> Gosh. Gosh. Dude, dude. It is... Here. That's where the other moonstone is. Hooray. Now I can stop tearing out my hair on this. Okay, now here's something you are going to find annoying, okay? You ready? This guy's like, hey, stop! I found these fossils, they're both mine! And they battles you. <laughs> Doesn't get the exclamation mark, though. But he has a Grimer! Ah! Anyway, uh, Gr Grimer's okay. Um. His HP and attack are pretty good, and he actually learns some of the best TMs in the game. Uh, I really wish I had, um... I had, uh... Butterfree alive. Oh, dang it, it's disabled. I think I know it was Growl. Growl and Leer do, like, the same thing. Oh, Growl, Growl reduces his attack, sorry. Uh, so he's got Grimer. By the way, this is the last guy you'll need to fight, so don't worry. Uh, Voltorb, yeah, I'll switch out to Bubba. You may be wondering why I'm not, uh, sending out Dragon Man, and that is because he is so weak that he will die. And Bubba is so inaccurate that he will die. Uh, so yeah. By the way, Voltorb is just a Pokeball with eyes. Yeah. I know there's internet discussions about like how the first generation is so much better than the rest, but trust me, some of the designs were not as good as you guys think. And coughing. So coughing is a poison type. We're going back to Birdo. Uh this guy's level twelve. Uh he's got really high defense, his base stats are pretty good. Problem is, doesn't really learn as many good same type moves, and his sprite's the wrong way. That's a disadvantage. Uh, also, he learns Explosion. Explosion's always a plus. Yeah, there you go, that's Smog. It's a pretty annoying move. Smog. I think I'm good. Oh, no! I'm poisoned! Um... I think I can, I can deal with this. Potion. So yeah, this is gonna get kind of awkward. Uh, I got this, I got this. I can hit him once. Oh, he's gonna use... Ta oh, Tackle. I got this, maybe. Maybe. Oh, come on. Don't die on me, Charlie. Thank goodness. Uh, okay, now I'm gonna switch to Bubba. Because Bubba's not gonna die in one hit. Hopefully. Hopefully. Wow. Why did I not use them before? 
Oh, I'm a smart. I don't know why. I was like, poison type, it's bad for grass. What? Well, anyway, once you beat him, then he will let you take one of the fossils. I'm going to use an antidote because I don't want Birda to die on me. Uh... Yeah, might as well. Uh, so anyway, we have the Helix Fossil here. Uh, the Helix Fossil, by the way, this is, this is a decision you will want to kind of think about when you make them. Uh, you can get the Helix Fossil, which gives you, I believe, this gives you... Um... Armonite? Later in the game. And there's the Dome Fossil, which gives you Kabuto. Um... Uh, hold on for a second. There we go. Uh, Omnite and Kabuto, they evolve pretty late, but you, you get them pretty late in the game anyway. Uh, they evolve at level 40 each. They both have high defense stats, and they're very good once they're evolved. Um, Omnite has a bit of a low HP uh, attack and speed stat, uh, whereas Kabuto, while his stats are a little bit better, his moveset's a lot worse, because he's not water-type. Um, but I'm going to go for the Helix Fossil, because I think Omnite is a bit better than Kabuto. Yep, item jingle for the other dude. Then you can just keep on walking. Ah! No! I don't want any of your money! Stop! Please! should have given him a potion, that would have been a smart move. Okay. Uh, okay, and once you stand in here, you magically exit. By the way, yes, this exit is like really close. Anyway, make sure that you've got your items right now. Make sure you've got all your items on you right now. Because you can't get as soon as you step off this ledge, oh, actually, this ledge is okay, but a bit later, you can't come back up, which is a little bit, uh, annoying. Where is the item that I'm looking for? There it is. There's a great ball there. Great ball is actually, it gives you one and a half times more chance of catching a Pokemon. Uh, it does cost a little bit more, but, uh, than a regular Pokeball, but it's okay. Yeah, once you jump off that ledge, and it's just like, you can't come back. Where is that ledge? Uh, if you head up here, though, you'll find... TM04, which is Whirlwind. Uh, it blows an opponent out of battle. Also, there's a person up here. You can't get up here. So yeah, once you get down here, you're stuck. In Cerulean City, yeah, big change in color. Anyway, with that, I'll see you guys next time. See you guys then. Dun 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 da 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 da